Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at cumulative frequency graphs. So what is cumulative frequency? Cumulative frequency means the frequency so far. And to find it, you add it, the frequency as you go along. Here we've got a grouped frequency table. And you can see the frequencies in groups. And it says that there are seven stu uh, two students between 120 and 130 centimetres tall. And it puts them into groups like this. To find the cumulative frequency, we add another column like this, the cumulative frequency column. And we add the frequency as we go along. In this column, uh, in this box, we're going to put the frequency up to 130. And the frequency up to 130 is 2. So we put 2 there. Now, in the next box, we're going to put the frequency up to 140. And to find that, we're just going to add uh, the next lot of frequency. And we get 8. Now we're going to add the next frequency, we get 16. We're going to add the next frequency, we get 16 plus 3 is 19. And then we're going to add the final frequency to get the final box. Like this. And so you're just adding the frequency as you go along. Okay. Now, uh, one of these boxes, this 19 box, tells you there are 19 students who are less than 160 centimetres tall. That means between all the frequencies below 160 and up to 19. And that's what the cumulative frequency for that box tells you. Now we're going to draw a cumulative frequency graph. And to do this, we've got a line going up and a line going across. And we've got a scale. On the line across, we've got the measure. That's uh, For this, it's going to be the heights. For the uh, y-axis, that's always the cumulative frequency. And we've got the grid here for the uh, measures. So the measures always go across the bottom, and the cumulative frequency always goes on the y-axis. And to start plotting points, the first point is going to be 130 and 2. So it's the frequency, it's the height so far, and then the frequency so far. And so we go across to 130, and we go up to 2, and we put across there. Then we're going to do 148. So we go across to 140, and we go up to 8, and we put across where they cross over. We continue 150, 16. 160, 19, 170, 20. And we get this here. Finally, uh, we're going to draw a smooth curve. So you, get, you will need a pencil, and you're going to draw a smooth curve in one smooth movement. Do not scribble, do not go over it again. Like this. You will always get kind of this S shape here, where it's steep in the middle, and then it flattens out at the edges. You should always get a cumulative frequency graph that looks like that. Okay, from this we can find some important information. We can, uh, and here we've got some examples. It says, find an estimate for the median. Find an estimate for the lower quartile. Find an estimate for the upper quartile. Find an estimate for the interquartile range. And find an estimate for the number of people over 155 centimetres tall. We're going to do this slowly, slowly. So, uh, we're going to start by finding the median. And the median is the middle number. Here, uh, the, there are 20 people in total, so the middle person is going to be at 10. So you just half the total number of people. So we go to 10, and we go across, and then we go down. We go across to the curve, and then we go down, and the median number will be what you read off at the bottom. Here, this is 143. And so the median is 143 centimetres. The lower quartile, we're going to do that now. And uh, the lower quartile means the lower quarter. A quarter of the total number of people, so there's 20 people, a quarter of that is 5. So we go across from 5 and we go down. And we read off the bottom. And the number on the bottom is about 137 centimetres. 
Okay, this is an estimate because remember our curve is just a sketch, it's not perfect, but this is a very good estimate for the lower quartile. And so we get 137 centimeters here. Now we're going to find the upper quartile. Uh, the upper quartile is like three quarters of the total amount. So the lower quartile was one quarter, the median was two quarters, and the upper quartile was three quarters. Three quarters of 20 is 15. We go across from 15 and we go down. And this tells us the upper quartile, which is 148 centimeters. And so we get 140 centimeters, centimeters is the upper quartile. Now we're going to find the interquartile range. And to find the interquartile range, you do the upper quartile, subtract the lower quartile. Upper quartile, subtract the lower quartile. The upper quartile is 148, the lower quartile is 137. You subtract them and you get 11 centimeters. The interquartile range is 11 centimeters. And finally, we're going to find an estimate for the number of people over 155 centimeters tall. So we look for 155 centimeters on our graph, which is over here. And we draw a line up from that. Then we go across, and this tells us that there are about 18 people, if you read this scale correctly, 18 people who are less uh, than 155 centimeters tall. So 18 tells you how many people are below 155 centimeters. We want the number of people above. And there's 20 people in total, so there must be two people between 18 and 20. So there are two people above 155 centimeters tall. Okay, so in the exam, you'll be asked to do the median, the lower quartile, upper quartile, interquartile range, and then maybe estimate the number of people above or below a certain amount. Okay, you might need to rewatch uh, A, B, C, and D, and E uh, to see how I did that again. Okay, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from Advanced Maths, remember to subscribe for more videos. If there's something you're struggling with in maths, please let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about that in future. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams!